everyone. Um, welcome to the tutorial on how to use the course description handbook and for tuning in. I'm on the Crescent Valley website and under academics, if you scroll down a little bit um, and click on classes and course catalog, you can use this hyperlink to get to the actual CD course handbook. Um, right now, it's still showing last year's, but by the time you are in the forecasting process, this will be updated for next school year. So I'm going to take a moment to just kind of brush you up on how to use it. If you don't remember, um, it's pretty straightforward. It has a table of contents on page two. What's nice about this is the first part of the um, Handbook is organized and, you know, you can look up the diploma requirements. If you're interested in career and technical education, what courses qualify under that and what does it mean? For those of you that might be in the AVID program, it gives you a little bit more information or if you want to be part of AVID. Any advanced coursework is listed and college now and other programs that we have. And then, of course, down here also on page 13, you can look up clubs and athletics which, you know, since we've been remote, might be nice to kind of see what is actually happening at CV. And then down here, if you go a little further down, it breaks it up into the different departments. And I'm just going to pick on the English department for a second and go down to page 24. And we can talk a little bit about how this book is organized in the different department areas. So if you are looking at language arts, you need to take uh, one credit of language arts each year while you're at CV and depending on what grade level, it actually lists the courses that you have met the prerequisites for to take in that school year. And so you would want to choose one of those. And if I was a junior, for instance, I would scroll down a little bit and see. So scrolled a little too far here. Um, if I want to know what's going on for American literature versus honors American lit and kind of put them side by side, um, I'll look at, okay, I'm in 11th grade. I've met the prerequisite. This gives me credit under the graduation or diploma requirement for English. And I also can be awarded Oregon Public University credit, which is really great because this little um, designation right here lets you know if this class meets college entrance requirements. And so for core classes, that is definitely very important. And then you have a short description of what you can expect to read during that class. And if you are not sure if you should choose honors or regular um, American Lit, you can kind of compare what books they will be reading and um, hopefully that will help you make your choice. So this um, holds true for every department. Um, every time you uh, look under a subheading, it would list the grade level you can take a class and then gives you a little bit more information on what those classes are all about. Hopefully this helped you a little bit and um, we'll see you soon.